And in related news, the city that will host the 2030 World Expo will be decided next Tuesday at the 173rd General Assembly of the Bureau International Day Expositions, the event's organizer in Paris. With hopes high, our culture correspondent Song Yujin takes a look back on Korea's journey to try and bring the World Expo to Busan. The decision on which country will host the 2030 World Expo is just around the corner. South Korea's second largest city, the southern port city of Busan, is competing against Saudi Arabia's Riyadh and Italy's Rome. While this year has been packed with Expo-related events, Busan's preparation started years before. Busan's efforts to host the Expo have been ongoing since 2016. Throughout the last seven years, South Korea as a whole and the city government have worked hard. For example, Busan promoted its expo bid to regions that it did not have close contact with before, such as Africa. Korea has gone all out to bring the expo to Busan. Designating the 2030 World Expo Busan as a national task, President Yoon, Prime Minister Han duk su and Foreign Affairs Minister Park Jin traveled to dozens of countries to rally support. President Yoon even took the stage as a speaker during Busan's fourth presentation to the Bureau International des Expositions. The private sector joined forces too with the leaders of Samsung, SK, Hyundai Motor and LG going overseas as economic delegations, promoting the Busan Expo by screening promotional videos and installing large-scale advertisements. According to the prime minister, government officials and business leaders visited 180 countries, all told. Businesses also work diligently at home to boost domestic interest. We teamed up with the Busan city government to establish this designated area for the 2030 World Expo in hopes of bringing it to Busan. I didn't know that Korea had prepared so much for the Expo bid. It makes me realize how important this is. I really hope Busan wins. Renowned cultural figures joined in too. BTS held a free concert in Busan as soprano Cho Sumi, along with singer Sai and Espa's Karina, took part in Busan's BIE presentation. But the heart of Busan's campaign lies with the unrivaled enthusiasm of the people living there. Thousands welcomed the BIE when they arrived at Busan train station in April for an on-site visit. I would go after almost 20 years in expos, and I have been on many, many inquiry missions throughout expos. I don't think I have ever seen such an enthusiasm in the local population uh, for an event. Behind this was the Citizens Committee on Busan's bid for the 2030 World Expo, which also organized the Gwanganli Fireworks Festival and expo-themed movie and music festivals with the public. Busan has experience hosting major international events like the World Cup and Asian Games. So we have the know-how, the facilities and efficient transport infrastructure. That's why Busan is ready to successfully host the Expo. With fingers firmly crossed, all that's left now is for the 182 BIE member countries to make a decision in Paris on November 28. Busan, I think. Fighting. Busan Expo fighting. Busan fighting. Song Yujin, Arirang News.